All right, let's get to gluing 101 Wendy style. Okay, so I have my Little Mermaid puzzle that I finished puzzling and I slid it under a poster board to protect the table because the glue will seep through and I have my glue. Okay, first thing, when you get your glue, it may not look like this, but just make sure it's glue for puzzles. Um, some of them come with a little scraper, some don't, but when you open this, you're gonna get this little guy. It's supposed to be some sort of spreader, but it's useless. So what you're gonna do when you open this is just set it aside so you can seal the top of it back up, if you have any glue left. All right, and then I have my own little scraper so if you have like an old credit card or an old grocery store card or an old license or something, um, sometimes these come with it though, which is great. Um, I've had this one for years. This is what you want. You could probably even go buy a plastic like putty knife at a home improvement store um, that could spread it around as well. Um, but again, this little thing here that comes with your glue bottle, useless. Okay, so I just take my bottle and what I do I just pour I pour in little lines all up and down there is nothing scientific here just enough to cover each little section then I take my scraper and I spread it around. Now once you have it all evenly distributed over your puzzle, which you're gonna be able to see the glue just fine on top of your puzzle because it's nice and shiny when it first comes out. So what you wanna do after you get it all evenly through is you want to let this dry for a good amount of time. Now I always let mine dry, whoops, moving the puzzle at least overnight guys at least and then it's ready definitely ready after drying overnight to go in the frame you have chosen there it is it's all glued it's going to dry overnight and i will be framing this one Thank you so much for watching.